courtroom theatrics inside a movie theater. Attorneys for Curtis Reeves want to develop a screenplay of sorts. They believe if they can create a script filled with every detail right down to the lighting, it'll help them defend the former cop accused of shooting another moviegoer. News Channel East John Rogers shows us how they plan to do it on location in Wesley Chapel. Good evening. The attorneys filed a motion asking if they could study the layout of this Wesley Chapel Theater. They also want to see the lights used inside. A legal expert tells me this could help jurors understand why Reeves fired that fatal shot. The surveillance video is grainy and dark, but it shows that on January 13th, Curtis Reeves fired a bullet at Chad Olson. The shot followed a dispute over text messages. Now Reeves' attorneys want to dissect the scene to explain why he did it. They want to go inside to take photographs and measurements, and they want to study the lighting conditions. Well, it's always common for a defense attorney to visit a crime scene. Attorney Bryant Camerino has been observing this case, and he feels the lights will play a key role. If there was not enough lighting, it would be reasonable for the defendant to believe that the victim had something in his hands that he could have perceived as being a weapon. The defense team could argue that in the darkness, Reeves could have felt his life was in danger. The issue is whether or not the, the defendant knew that he was being assaulted with popcorn. And that's really what's at stake is what was the state of mind of the defendant at the moment that he pulled out his own weapon and discharged the gun. A Pasco County judge will hold a hearing on this issue on Wednesday, and Curtis Reeves' trial will be held in March. In Pasco County, John Rogers, News Channel 8.